This is how you make pho for a small family of four or five. You will need an instant pot, so everything about this recipe will be instant. So for example, our ginger, we're not going to char it. What we're going to do instead is we're going to cut it up into thin slices. This is about as big as my face. <laughs> you also need one onion, and if you have time, you can char this, but again, instant pot, so I'm not going to yeah, char this. You'll need some pho spices. You can buy this individually, or I like to buy it as a set. This is the Old Man brand, and this is a smaller bag. This is 1.5 ounces. It comes with this spice bag. I'm not going to toast this up because you guys wanted a quick and easy pho recipe for a weeknight. So I'm not going to toast it up, but I am going to put it into the spice bag and try this. So it looks like that. This is beef bones and beef shank. I already parboiled this and rinsed them clean. I'm going to add it in here. So in my pot, we're going to add our onions, ginger slices, and our spice bag. This is rock sugar. You can use regular granulated sugar. Salt. I just put the liner inside the pot because it's going to get heavy once I add the water. Place this lid on and we're going to pressure cook. While your broth is cooking, you're going to prep your, the rest of your veggies. I have scallion. Dip the taella. <laughs> Cilantro and our onions. This is the only three vegetable I have. I don't have any mint leaves, herbs, or bean sprouts because I just don't have any. Once this is done cooking. We're going to quick release this. Did you know that this does that? Anyways, this is what our broth is looking like. Next, we're going to remove everything. We got our spice bag our beef bone, ginger slices, beef shank. I'm gonna leave this off to the side and allow it to completely cool before I slice into it. Pour this through a fine strainer. Some people might say this next part is mandatory. I say it's optional and it is removing the fat from the broth. There's a lot of ways to do this. This is a fat separator. You can also leave it to cool in the fridge overnight and scoop out the fat that um, forms at the top. Or there is this thing called a fat absorbent sheet that you can buy. I think at Daiso they have some of those. I'm just going to use this fat separator. Again, this is optional to me. Some people would say it's not optional. You see how there's this fat that's sitting right on top? Yeah. What's crazy is that restaurants, they remove this fat from your broth and they sell it to you. It's called McMail. They'll sell it to you on the side. That's good enough. And I'm just going to repeat this process until we're all done with our broth. And that's about the last of it. And what's left is our nook mayo, our fat water. You need to season this to your preference. I normally do some chicken bouillon, fish sauce, and some sugar if it needs it, but this doesn't need any. I love eating my pho with some beef balls. And these are beef balls made of beef, not beef balls, cojones. This is my beef shake. I let it to cool and I'm thinly slicing it. This is manfa. A lot of you guys are going to be like, oh, those are vermicelli noodles. No. Manfa, the fresh fun noodles. I usually don't use this brand, but this is the only one that the supermarket carried. How you cook your pho noodles is you want to take a handful. You want to cook this as you eat it. This is not something you can cook ahead of time. And you want to dunk it for 15 to 30 seconds, and that's it. And you want to take your noodles out. And then you want to fluff it. Now it looks something like that. Top this off with your meat topping of choice. This is beef shank. Your beef balls float to the top. They are ready to be scooped out. Cilantro, scallion, and onions. That's our bowl. When our broth comes to a boil, we're gonna ladle this right on top. 